My name is Nicole and I'm an HBA candidate 2015. My name is Nicholas Zeeb. I'm a, an Ivy HBA student. I'm expected to graduate in 2015, but I also plan on doing the dual degree where I will be combining engineering and uh, the HBA and will be graduating in 2016. Today is, is the leadership conference. One of the things that Ivy does just progressively, they have these uh, conferences throughout the year. This morning we're going to have a keynote speak with Arlene Dickinson, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, and then we're going to have some workshops in which we'll have the opportunity to have a more hands-on experience um, practicing candor and character and you know facilitating our leadership skills that way. And we'll finally close with a keynote with General Hillier. I expect to achieve some, some insight into some of, uh, into uh, specifically with Arlene, I, I, I want to see you like how she carries herself and how she takes about her day because I feel like w with leaders with that, that operate the way that they do is, is there's something fundamentally different about the way that they carry themselves and their candor and I'm really excited to see what they what they do. With the workshops I'm really excited to be working with other people in, in unique situations. We do have uh, a program planned out and I'm really excited to see how that runs out because in that way it's not just going to be we're going to be hearing someone tell us what they think we're going to actually be working on it and working on it together. This morning we had the opportunity to hear from Arlene Dickinson, um, one of the Dragons on Dragons Den, and she delivered a very inspiring speech on um, candor and character and how she has developed that and practiced that throughout her own life, um, both I guess in terms of her personal life and professional life. One of the things that really stuck out for me specifically was she told us that there was one scenario where it would have made her company so much money and she chose otherwise to not take the client simply because of some of the actions they were taking that were against her moral integrity. And then we moved on into breakout sessions, each in our own classrooms uh, with our section. And we watched scenes from the movie Invictus and also discussed uh, throughout the session how we thought about um, Nelson Mandela's candor and character that he um, illustrated during, uh, throughout the movie and how we can learn from that and you know, seek to apply that in our own life. What things did you see happening? So we saw that Nelson Mandela, he's, he's really looking at the bigger picture here. We watched specific scenes and we're looking at the leadership qualities of both, um, of both Nelson Mandela and the captain of the rugby team in order to see like, how they're developing over the whole course of this event and specifically what they're doing differently than, than other leaders in this world right now. And it was, it was eye-opening. I'd seen the movie before but never looked at it that way and just the things that we talked about this morning in relation to what we're learning in class is, was really significant. I think so too. <laughs> The thing is, I was supposed to fly out on Tuesday night, and then there was all the snow, right? Yeah. So everything got, all the flights got cancelled. So the role playing basically involved um, us students getting into groups of eight, and then each taking on a role um, in this fictional nonprofit organization that's going through some issues, especially um, there's a large moral dilemma at play. What was interesting is we were given a script, and with a group of people, um, some people were given specific roles, and they had to play it out, and it, it, it felt real. The script was really dynamic, and it was, it was a very interesting situation. Um, for us, it was basically challenging us to see whether, um, if we're in these particular roles, what challenges do we face in terms of um, if we need to act with candor and, and with character, um, despite being these difficult situations, how, does, how can we go about doing that? So ready to coach me? So ready to coach me? I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to give you a hard time. You're going to give me a difficult okay. time? Okay, all right, this is going to be fun. Thanks, guys. Okay. Here's an idea. You get in here and do some of this down work yourself. Sam's cell phone rings. Yes, Mom, I'm still at work. It was a very good um, way for us to really experience it. And I think that's something that Ivy really... Um, one of the things I really like about Ivy because it's all about um, getting us to, to really experience rather than let's say being passively li listening to a lecture you know during class for example we're always contributing so I think this kind of ties in really neatly with the way that Ivy um, thinks about education in general. General Hilliard just was an amazing speaker and not, not only was he funny but he was just he spoke about everything from his personal life to to his experiences in Afghanistan. What I took away from it was it's really all about the people. You can have the people who have the most qualified skills but if you can't lead them properly, if you can't engage in them then there's really it's very difficult to move forward. Also in terms of the actual lessons that uh, he spoke about were um, I think very relevant to us and definitely something that um, 
was good for us to keep in mind going forward in terms of acting with integrity, moral courage. Just the fact that he was so humble. He, he realizes that he is probably one of like, the more influential people. And he just, he is an average Joe and he just, he, he presents himself that way and he was able to connect with us on such a great level. So the day was about really character and candor. And so, um, I th and also, you know, it's about leadership, but we have to think about leadership in kind of a broad sense. It's not always about you specifically being in this formal role where um, you have followers and you need to lead them. It's also um, can come in a lot of other situations where you may not be um, in a formal leadership role, but you still need you st still need to act as a leader, and there's a lot of responsibility that comes with that. Um, but if you have the character and candor uh, that you develop throughout you know throughout your life then you'll be able to step into those roles effectively. So the things that I took away from today is it's definitely is you have to you have to always be mindful of, of your ethics and your morality because it is very easy and it was really caught that today. It is easy to get caught up in politics. And if you sense something's wrong, you can't just put it aside and you need to speak speak up. And then after that it was really just it was just an amazing experience too to see these speakers and hear what their perspectives are and then to actually work it out and live it. It was something that you would get in the real world, but this way it was able to do it in an environment that there wasn't any consequences and actually get the, get the experience you need.